Tonight we're hearing from the family of a man hit and killed by a UNCW student athlete. That athlete is now facing a DWI charge. Good evening everyone, thanks for joining us. I'm Francis Waller. And I'm John Evans. That crash happened over the weekend on I-40 near Wallace in Duplin County. 31-year-old Mildo Velasquez tried to reattach a trailer to his truck when a driver crashed into a nearby car. Velasquez died after that car hit his trailer. 19-year-old UNCW student athlete Rayleigh Greco is charged with driving while impaired. WCP's Zach Solon met with Velasquez's family today. Now, Zach, this crash happened just a few miles from where they live in the Willard community. Yeah, that's right, Fran and John. The family is devastated tonight as they try to process what happened, especially as many of them watch the tragedy unfold. But we can't believe it. Sometimes we think it's a, just a dream. It's a dream, but we will never, you know, he will never come back. It's every family's worst nightmare. Mildo Velasquez died Sunday night while trying to reattach a trailer to his truck on I-40 near Wallace. His wife was following in a car behind him. A driver crashed into his wife's car, which then hit the trailer and killed Velasquez. His two young children were sitting in the truck, watching the crash happen. He went running to his uncle, saying, Uncle, please tell God to make a, a miracle to, for my dad to wake up. Please, please. His family says his kids were the light of his life. He would go out with his kids. Hey, let's go eat. Come on, let's go. Let's go eat. Oh, let's go to the store. Let's go here. He would be top of them, like never leave them behind. And he would never leave them behind. 19-year-old UNCW student athlete Rayleigh Grico is charged with driving while intoxicated. Velasquez's family wants Grico to understand what they are going through. I hope, you know, she can see what she's done, see what all the pain she's, you know, is causing us. For us, I mean, we've grown up, it's painful, but imagine these kids. I imagine them not growing up with their dad. They hope this tragedy is a sign to others. I don't know. It's so sad when people be drinking or doing stuff on the road when they're not supposed to because they destroy families. They really do, and it's hard. It's really hard. As Velasquez's family is left to pick up the pieces. They see the bed, they see his clothes. It's like, who's gonna wear that? Who's gonna, I'm gonna hug. And for him, he's like, when I'm gonna see my dad? Velasquez's relatives say they want him to be remembered as a hardworking man who loved his family. As far as Grico, she's charged with DWI and failure to slow down. The district attorney says highway patrol investigators are still looking into the crash to determine if more charges will be filed. Zach Solon, WECT News.